Winds from the south. Gonna rain. Tonight, maybe. Don't you worry. I'll take care of your father's grave. Train's coming soon. I was brilliant once. Thirty years ago. Big face. No end to it. Well, Lily, go to church every Sunday. Obey your aunt. She's all you got. Yes, she's the last. Well, then, goodbye. Did you have to arrive in the middle of the night? The train doesn't leave until 7 o'clock in the evening. Huh. Well, haven't you got a kiss for your old aunt? <laughs> yeah, there, 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 there. Now, let's have a look at you. <laughs> I'd forgotten people wore clothes like that. <laughs> What have you got there? My things. Well, bring them here. I'm going to give you my daughter's room. <laughs> my ungrateful, unnatural daughters, who deserted their old mother. But I taught them after my heart. I taught them after the roots. And all my love shall be for you, not as my niece, no, as my old child. Yes, Santa Agnes. Now, watch this. A Bible? It was his. Was that all your scamp of a father left you? A Bible? He wasn't a scamp. He was a good man. I don't know what he was good for, leaving your charge on your old aunt. However, he taught you to read. That's something. Maybe you'll be some use about the shop after all. My father was a good man. Every night, I read to him from this Bible. The Lamentations of Job, no doubt. No, the Song of Solomon. He loved it best. I don't remember the Song of Solomon, but knowing your father, I imagine there was something dirty in it. A Song of Songs is beautiful. That's more than I can say for your get up. He was a good man. All right, all right. He was a good man. Take that black pancake off your head. And climb out of that shroud. See if these will fit you. 
They belong to Anna. <laughs> Have you had your supper? I'm not hungry, thanks. Good. Then you might as well go to bed. And in the morning, I'll start teaching you about the books. I'll lock up tonight, but after this, you'll do it. Yes, Tante Rasmussen. We open the shop at six, and breakfast is at seven. And you'll have a good home here if you behave. But you might as well understand right now, I'll tolerate no nonsense. No, Tante Rasmussen. Mercy, how many of those things do you wear? <laughs> what another? I've never seen a girl unpeel herself like an onion before. This is the last. <laughs> <laughs> A figure like that will get you into trouble if you're not careful. You'll we'll bear watching. Go to bed. Good night. My precious brother. Even that liking dies and leaves me his daughter with nine petticoats and a Bible. Does he leave any money? <laughs> not a penny. A daughter and a Bible. <laughs> Always was a restless, good for nothing, no account chap. By night on my bed, I sought him, whom my soul loved. I sought him, but I found him not. I will rise now and go about the city, in the streets and in the broad ways. I will seek him, whom my soul loveth. I will seek him, whom my soul loveth. Sir? What? I said, are you looking for a book? Well, I tell you, when a man goes into a bookshop, he's usually looking for a book. Of course, he might be looking for the fountain of youth, but I don't think you sell that. Oh. 
I meant, is there some special book you're looking for? <laughs> there is nothing special. Everything is just the same as everything else. Well, I'm afraid I can't help you. No, no, I'm afraid you can't. No, no, no. Stand up again. Stand up. I want to see you. No, I will not. Oh, I see. You think I'm interested in your legs. Well, I'm not. At least not just as legs, my dear child. If you'd seen as many legs as I have, you'd get more excited about a pair of crutches. I'm a sculptor, my dear. A sculptor. Or that is, I'm supposed to be. And there was something about you as you stood there that... that was almost an idea. Are you the sculptor that lives across the street? I'm the sculptor that's going crazy across the street. Why? What's the matter? I'm stuck. Stuck? Yes, stuck. You mean... you mean... I mean I'm stuck. Yes, I know, oh, but... Oh, don't say you know and then say but. If you can't talk straight, don't talk at all. Now, come on, please, stand up. This is a bookstore. And if you don't want to buy a book, then better go back and, and be stuck. I don't have to go back. I'm just as stuck here. That's the trouble. The trouble is, you are probably no good anyway. Oh. Do you know, I never thought of that. I tell you what, you come over and pose for me. Perhaps you'll bring me inspiration. No, thank you. How about eight o'clock, hmm? I wouldn't wait if I were you. Oh, no, no, no. But you must come. You know, I believe I could get something really interesting. Oh, oh please come. Please come, won't you? You must be crazy. Well, what's that got to do with it? I don't know you. Well, I don't know you either, but I've got to sculpt you. Now, now when will you come? Tonight? Certainly not. You know, really, I should have thought that living here as you do among all these... Marvelous books. You would have had some sympathy for art. If you'll come, I'll buy a book. Oh, you will? I, I'll even read the blessed thing. It's no use. I couldn't... What did he want? Oh, nothing. Didn't he take a book? No, he was just looking. Well, you get on with your work. And don't you let me catch you carrying on with any young men. No, Tante Rasmus. Come in. Come in, come in. I don't believe it. I only came to... Oh, never mind why you came, you're here. That's the main thing. <laughs> oh, come in, come in. <laughs> it was wrong of me to come. It was charming, charming of you. Here, here, let me take this. Tante Rasmussen should find out. You know, I believe you're scared of her. Well, so am I. <laughs> I 
Are you still stuck? Well, I was. But Hope has come in now, hasn't she? I've been making a sketch of you. You want to see yourself? Oh, yes. Oh, I haven't any clothes on. Clothes? Do you think I model people with their clothes on? But how did you know I was like that? And just what does that mean? I mean, it is me and then it isn't me. I mean, it's... Uh... Oh, go on. This begins to sound like art criticism of the highest order. Oh, it's wonderful. I mean, it's the way I want to be. It's me as I dream of me. Oh. It's the girl in the Song of Songs. Who? The girl in the Song of Songs. She's in the Bible. The Bible? She's the girl who feels in her heart that somewhere the perfect love is waiting for her. She says, I sleep, but my heart waketh. It is the voice of my beloved saying, Open to me, my love, my undefiled. Mercy on us. Oh, I know what she means. I know it, because I feel it inside. I mean, it is the voice of my beloved. That's what I mean. Hold that pose. Now, don't move. Yes. Yes, that's wonderful. Yes, there's my statue, and we'll call it the Song of Songs. Oh, really? Think of it. What luck to find just what I've been looking for in old Rasmussen's bookshop. Take your clothes off. What? Take your... Well, what's the matter? What's the matter? I can't take my clothes off. Why? Why can't you? Why, I... I'd be undressed. Well, what do you expect to be? All you need is the face. Everything is in the face. Oh, I see. You're going to tell me how to do it now. No, but... but... Oh, now, 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 look here. You mustn't think of me as a man. Don't you realize that? Why, a, a model means no more to me than a tree. All I see is that the, the thing she creates. Look, what's your name? Lily. Well, now, Lily, don't irritate me with silly prejudices. I see you as an artist. You must believe that, Lily. I mean, uh, well, I mean, uh, you must believe that. Yes, I think I believe that. Good. Well, now, come on. You see that curtain? Well, you can undress behind there. Now, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Take this and put it around you. That's a good girl. Now, don't be long. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Come on. Step up there. You can drop the smoke. It's cold. Cold? I hadn't noticed it. Oh, well, you're going to stand like that? 
What about the voice of your beloved? Why don't you listen to it? It's pretty hard to listen when you are as embarrassed as I am. Ooh, you'll get used to it. And what's more, I'm freezing. Then we'll get used to that, too. I don't understand how I ever got into this. Now, look here. Wait a minute, wait a minute and take it easy. You don't have to do this, you know, if you don't want to. Hmm? Well, all right. You put your clothes on and go home. No, I said I'd do it, and I will do it. That's the way to talk. Good. Good. That's enough for now. I'll get it. I'll get it. Next the clay and then the marble. The Song of Songs in marble. Was I all right? Oh, you were fine at first. You uh, got a bit tired later. Come in. Am I welcome? Oh, yes, of course. Come in, madam. Come in. I saw your light, so I thought I'd drop in to see what you were up to. Well, I've been working. Good. It's about time. There's the beginning of your statue, madam. Hmm. Not bad. Do you see any idea to it? She's a little beauty. Oh. <laughs> That's all you see, eh? It's enough for me. <laughs> oh, is she uh, here? Yes, yes, she's in there. Oh. Not uh, not overdone? As good as this? Really? Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Ah. Pretty face as well as the hidden charms. Mm -hmm. I'd like to meet the young lady. Mm. Oh, Lily. This is Colonel von Metzmer. Lily, how do you do, my dear? How do you do? So you are to be our young friend's inspiration, huh? <laughs> oh, these artists are privileged people. <laughs> I think I'd better go. Oh, if I thought I'd frightened you away, I'd never forgive myself. You know, I'm not altogether an intruder. The statue our young friend is to do of you will belong to me. <laughs> I've already paid him for it. <laughs> but it's late. I must go. Oh, that's a pity. But no doubt we shall meet again. Now that I've seen you, the statue will interest me more than ever. Goodbye. This, well, uh, tomorrow night. But... In the same time. A lovely girl. Lovely. Thank you. 
been? Where have you been? Sneaking out of my house. I'll show you. Where did you find her? Oh, I, uh, I just found her. She's not a professional model. Oh, no, no. She works in the bookshop across the street. Why? She interests me. Of course, my dear Richard, if there's any reason why I shouldn't do so. Oh, none at all. She means nothing to me. Fine. Because she interests me very much. Very much. he said. You have a very beautiful daughter. <laughs> She's my niece, <laughs> I said. <laughs> then he gives his moustaches a twist and he asks, would I be offended if he was to show his admiration by making you a little present? <laughs> oh, fool. <laughs> and him a colonel, too. I said, I don't allow my niece to accept presents from gentlemen. <laughs> But, I says, <laughs> she sometimes takes a little rum with her tea. <laughs> and I said, I see no harm if you care to send her some. And he... <laughs> it's the very best kind. <laughs> it comes from Jamaica. <laughs> I suppose you never heard of Jamaica. No, we don't us, Miss. It's a place in Asia Minor. A drop of rum in your tea is supposed to build up your strength. Only the doctor says you must take it after you've got into bed and be sure to keep well covered as it's heating to the blood and you're liable to take a chill. You can bring it now, my child. <laughs> bring the bottle, too. Uh -huh. <laughs> You're a good girl, Lily. If I'm severe with you sometimes, just because I have your own welfare at heart. <laughs> We've forgotten the sugar. <laughs> uh, d d just half a teaspoon, dear. <laughs> uh, thank you, darling. <laughs> you weren't very nice to the Baron yesterday morning. Now, next time he comes, I want you to smile and be civil. Yes, Tante Rasmussen. <laughs> Good night, darling. You can go to bed now. Thank you. Good night. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> Say your prayers. I will. <laughs> ah. Jamaica. <laughs> Thank you. 
I know. Late again. Third time this week. Well, I don't see anything funny yeah. about keeping a man waiting. And what's that? Flowers. Well, where did you get them? A man. Oh, the Baron, I suppose. Oh, no. Who, then? I don't know him. I met him downstairs in the street. Would you mean to say you accepted flowers from a stranger in the street? Oh, he was such a handsome man. What's that got to do with it? Nothing. A perfect stranger, and you accept why? Why, it's positively indecent. Jealous? I? Oh, certainly not. There's nothing to me what you do. You sound jealous. Don't be ridiculous. Well, come on, come on, let's get to work. Well? Aren't they lovely? Let's get to work. Oh, oh smell them. Oh, come here. <laughs> what you've done. And I bought them for you. Oh. Well, thanks. Well, let's get to work, shall we? All right. Uh, ready then. Are you warm enough? Yes. I finally found the coal man. Well, if he didn't deliver some coal, I'd... I told him I'd... Uh, hmm. Told him something.
No, you, uh, you've turned too far. No, this way. No, look. What's the matter? Nothing. I can't sing, row the boat, and admire you all at the same time. Ooh, something has to go. Well, just over your oh, that's a good idea. Why didn't I think of that before? Wait a minute, wait a minute. Come on. And gently does it. Careful. You look a bit surly. Yes? Yes, I see a distinct resemblance to your Aunt Rasmussen. <laughs> no, really, it's striking. Another Rasmussen. Good heavens, what have I fallen in love with? <laughs> <laughs> Are you tired? Uh, no. Well, come on. Let's take that path. Up through the woods. Oh, yes, let's get lost. Forever. <laughs> Forever. Come on. <laughs> Excellency. Good day, Frau Rasmussen. The young lady is... Is out on an errand, Excellency. Ah. I bought her some rum. Oh. Excellency. <laughs> Two whole jugs full. She will be very grateful. Mm. I want to talk to you. Let's not beat about the bush, Frau Rasmussen. I have a library. An extensive library. I require someone to take care of it, someone familiar with books. Your niece could do it very well. My niece, Excellency? She would have to live at my place. I'm prepared to pay her a very liberal salary. Oh, Excellency, <laughs> my niece could hardly... All uh, the proprieties would be observed. Still, Excellency, <laughs> a young girl in a bachelor's household. Hmm. A very rare edition. A thousand marks. That's a lot of money for a book. Understand me, Frau Rasmussen. When I set my mind on a thing, I usually get it. One way or another. Perhaps Your Excellency would be interested in my other books. Yes, no doubt, no doubt. I shall be dropping in from time to time. Let me see, what were we talking about? Oh, yes. Your niece.
Oh, oh. oh smell that. What? Mm, the grass and the earth. Oh, smell that grass. I don't smell anything. Oh, you're so funny, darling. Look what he calls grass. No, you've got to bury your nose in it. You've got to get into the ground. You've just got to be grass. <laughs> You've got spring fever. Kiss me. No, I won't have you squandering all that love on grass and things. What about me, hmm? When I put my hands on the earth, it's you I'm touching. The wind on my face is your kisses. You are in everything I think and feel and do and will be till I die. Darling. You know, you frighten me sometimes. Why? Well, when I think if anything should happen to us. Oh, nothing is going to happen. No, no. Still, supposing something did, people in love have had to separate, you know. Oh, but not we. We'll be rich and famous. And I'll always pose for you. And we'll have a fine home and children. And we'll go old together. And every day, I love you twice as much as I did the day before. Set me as a seal upon thine heart, as a seal upon thine arm. For love is strong as death. That's fine. The best you've ever done. And the model. She's well, thank you. How's your romance coming on? Oh, Baron, let's stick to art. Oh, don't be offended, Richard. Anyone can see the girl adores you. Well, I adore her too. But, um, but what? Oh, nothing, nothing. She has notions in her head about eternal fidelity, marriage and children. It's all very awkward. You haven't thought of marriage, naturally. Well, I have a career to make and no money and... Uh, well, marriage is something... Yes. Well, what are you proposed to do about it? Uh, what can I do? If I go on with it, I'll be doing her a grave injustice. On the other hand... Oh, it's the devil of a mess. Leave her. How would that help? Well, it's kinder to do it now than later. The longer you're together, the harder it'll be for her to get over you. No. Give her to me. To you? Give her to me, Richard. I can make her happy and you won't. More, I can, I can educate her, refine her to a great lady. And I can provide for her, yes, and love her. She's the most preposterous woman. What do you take me for? When you say that, are you thinking of yourself or of her? For a temporary paradise, are you willing to kick a helpless girl into a permanent hell? Oh, oh. Now, now, hear me out. I'm getting old, Richard. For some time now, I've been thinking of resigning from the army, retiring to my place in the country to finish my life among my books, my paintings, my statues, and my farm. It would amuse me to devote the rest of my days to, to her, to mold the real lily, just as you have this statue. To make her my masterpiece, just as I think you made this yours. How could I give her to you, even if I wanted to? And I don't. All I ask is that you step aside and give me a chance to win her. Oh, this, this is obscene. Obscene? Because I'm not as young as you? Obscene? Because I consider her welfare and you don't? Obscene? Because I'm willing to marry her and you are not? Yes. Stare. That's how I want her. Enough to make her the Baroness von Metzger. Now tell me again that what I'm asking is obscene.
didn't know I knew all about your midnight excursions. Tante, I... You go to your lover and stay there. Stay there? Oh, Tante. I warned you. I've appealed to your better nature. I've scolded you away. I've even beaten you. And all to no avail. Now there's nothing left but to put you out. Oh, please, maybe I was wrong. But if you let me explain. I'm not interested in the details of your sin. Sin? Oh, it wasn't sin. Get out. Get out. And don't come back. Goodbye, Tante Rasmus. He's gone. Left today. Gone? Where? To Italy, I think. It... He asked me to see you and explain. When is he coming back? Not for a long time. Perhaps never. I don't believe you. Richard! <laughs> I'm sorry. Don't take it too hard, my child. It's unfortunate. Baldo's an artist. All he wanted of you was this statue. Now it's finished. No. I'm afraid it is so, my child. No, I don't believe you. He isn't like that. You don't know him. Baldo hates scenes. That's why he asked me to stay and see you. No, he couldn't. He loves me, I tell you. He told me he loves me. Oh, you're lying. <laughs> you're lying. <laughs> Lily. <laughs> Lily, my poor child. <laughs> it will pass. Everything passes. I know. Don't be afraid. You're not alone. I'll see you through this. I'll do everything in the world for you. Everything. Everything. Things he couldn't, wouldn't do. Oh, now, come. Come, Lily. Oh, leave me alone. Come, my dear. Oh, no, let me alone. Let me alone. Lily, you don't understand. I love you, my dear, and he didn't. You think he's the only thing in life? Trust me. Believe me. I'll make a great lady of you. No, no. No. I'll make you my wife, Lily. You shall be my heir. I have no one else but you, Lily, no one. And I love you. I love you. Oh, Richard. Richard. Are you going to let him spoil your life? He didn't let you disturb his, did he? He took what he wanted and was through with you. Lily, my darling, I want to give. I want to give you everything. Love, happiness, position, money. He didn't consider you his equal. I do. I'll make you more than his equal. I'll make you the Baroness von Merzbach. Then when you see him again, you can treat him as he's treated you. Patronize him. Scorn him. Revenge yourself upon him. He lied to you. Don't let him crush you. He lied to me. What for? What for? And only yesterday. That was a thousand years ago, my dear. And I'll make you believe it never happened. <laughs>
Baroness. This is Fräulein von Swertfeger, the uh, housekeeper. This, my dear, is Edward von Prell. My felicitations, Baron. Hmm. Baroness. Edward works for us. He's an agriculturalist. Good blood, though. His father carried a sword, but he chose the plow. <laughs> <laughs> My lord, may we extend our heartfelt congratulations. Very good, very good, very good. Supper is ready, Baron. Uh, no supper, no supper, no supper. But uh, another glass of champagne might be uh, acceptable. Huh? To our wedding night. <laughs> come, come, drink up, drink up. I'm not used to champagne. It'll make me dizzy. <laughs> All the better. All the better. Join you presently, my love. Are you looking for a book, sir? Are you the sculptor that lives across the street? When I put my hands on the earth, it's you I'm touching. The wind on my face is your kisses. You are in everything I think and feel and do and will be till I die. Set me as a seal upon thine heart, as a seal upon thine arm, for love is strong as death. Mm-hmm. 
Le livre de la vie est le livre suprême. 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 Qu'on ne peut ni fermer ni rouvrir à son choix. Très bien. Le passage adoré. Le, le passage. Le passage adoré. 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 Très bien. Ne s'y lit pas deux fois. Mais le feuillet Très est bien. Fatal. Maintenant, si vous voulez bien, nous allons écrire, Madame la Baronne. Le livre de la vie est le livre suprême. Le livre de la vie... Watch your phrasing, please. Your left hand, please. It's very important. Very good. Now, it's a little difficult, but... Oh, fine. Very good. Sein knapp ein Röslein stehen, Röslein auf der Heide. War so jung und so morgen schön, lief er schnell, es nah zu sehen, saß mit vielen Freuden. Röslein, 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 oh, Röslein auf der Heide. Und der wilde Knabe brav, Röslein auf der Heide. Röslein wehrte sich und stach, half ihm doch kein Weh und ach, musste sieben leiden. Röslein, 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 oh, Röslein auf der Heide. Now for an intolerable favor. I'm pleased with you, Lily. Very pleased. What's the matter? Nothing, our guests. Oh, they don't matter. They're nobodies. I only brought them here for you to practice on. <laughs> and you've done very well, Lily. I'm very, very proud of you. Next month, I'm going to give you a grand ball. I'll invite anybody of any consequence to meet the Baroness von Metzbach. Aren't you pleased? Yes. Yeah. I'll invite Valdo, too. I want him to see you now. He'll marvel at my work. 
You want him to see you, huh? If you like. What's the matter with you? You're always as cold as Valdo's statue. Are you still in love with him? Answer me. I never think of him. Never. I beg your pardon. Huh? What's the matter? What's the matter? Shall I have coffee served to the guests? No, get rid of them. Look here. Why do you follow us about all the time, sticking your nose in at unexpected moments? Are you jealous of my wife? I might have been. Once. Well, then? Oh, I've spoken to Von Krell about riding lessons for your wife. Riding lessons? Riding lessons? You've apparently forgotten our conversation. The Baroness ought to be taught to ride. Perhaps, perhaps, perhaps. Everybody rides. Might be awkward when you show her off. Huh? Von Krell's a good horseman. Oh, yeah, well, so he is. All right, you see it. At once. Then I can tell the Baron you'll give her the first lesson tomorrow. With pleasure. Thank you. And Edward, I'd be careful. The Baron is very jealous. Why, I don't know what you mean. I happen to know the Baroness admires you. In fact, she's spoken of it. Me? You're not in earnest. <laughs> don't look so surprised. After all, you're both young. The Baron is old and, well, just be careful. That's all. <laughs> Pleasant spot, isn't it? Shall we sit here and rest a bit, Baroness? You must not trouble so much about me, Mr. Van Frel. Trouble about you, Baroness. Why, there's nothing in this world I... I wouldn't do for you. Is this part of my riding lesson? You know... I wish people were as free to say and do what they think... as that water. Oh, the water isn't free. It is hemmed in by banks on both sides. You know what I mean. Are you making love to me? I love you. From the day you came, I've loved you. You were never out of my thoughts. I've watched you. I've even felt you in my arms. Yes, I know all about that. That's what they call love. I know that you're unhappy. I know that you... I know that I want you. Still, I love you. Remember that. Perhaps someday... Let's say no more about it. Come on. And ride home. <laughs> Being the Baroness von Mertzba suits her very well, Valdo. I've done something of a job, if I may say so. Huh? Yes, you modeled her in marble, I modeled her in the flesh, so to speak. I'm a bit of an artist myself, don't you think? <laughs> um, she's happy, of course. Oh, of course, of course. You'll see for yourself. Ah. Charming. Charming. So good to see you again. Valdo's changed, don't you think? Looks uh, thinner. A bit uh, peaked. I haven't seen you since you returned from Italy. Or was it Italy? <laughs> tell me about yourself. There's nothing to tell. 
Dinner is served. Ah, dinner. That's the word. Uh, would you take Lily, my dear Valdo? The young first. The old trailing behind. Yes. There's a treat in store for you, Valdo. Anything you say. Mozart, Meyerbeer, Mendelssohn. You wouldn't believe what a musician she's become. Isn't that right, Lily? I'm afraid you exaggerate. Oh, no, no. You, you're too modest, my dear. I tell you, she plays beautifully. Anything. You'll hear for yourself after dinner. You'll play for Valdo, won't you, my dear? If you like it. Ah! <laughs> there's a wife for you. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, and dance. Yeah, you, you haven't danced with her yet, have you, Valdo? You will. You, you, you'll dance with Valdo, won't you, my dear? If he likes. Of course he likes. Of course. Don't you, Valdo? Of course. Sir. Of course. You can talk to her about anything you like, my dear boy. Anything. Books, art. Why, she speaks French just like a native. Don't you, Lily? Hardly. I tell you, she does. You hear me? Just like a native. I'm sure of it. Yes, she does. And she reads everything. Everything, all the latest books. I bet she's ahead of you, Valdo. Say, what, what are you reading now, my love? Nothing. What's the matter with you two? Not a word out of you all evening. Aren't you glad to see each other? You ought to be glad to see Valdo. You owe everything to him, doesn't she, Valdo? I, I haven't told you how much we owe to Valdo, have I, my love? That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> you remember, Valdo, your saying? Mm, she has a notion in her head about eternal fidelity, marriage, children, and all that. Oh, it's a devil of a mess. <laughs> Lily, Lily, please. I... Stick to your art, say I, and let me have the gal. <laughs> and, and he does buy gal. <laughs> mess, Buck, this is monstrous. <laughs> what is the truth, isn't it? There's friendship for you. The noble Valdo graciously steps aside so that his old friend might renew his youth. <laughs> I beg of you. <laughs> was this what you brought me down here for? Well, it was the truth, wasn't it? Do a good to hear it. Getting uppish anyhow. He's twisted and distorted everything. Lily. Lily, I had nothing to offer you. I was poor. I thought there was something better in store for you. You've never been out of my thoughts or my heart. I love you. I've always loved you. Oh, let me take you away from here. You're unhappy. Unhappy? You can't deny it. You forget I'm a baroness. I have everything. Money, position. Jewels, servants. I can play the piano and speak French. What more could a woman ask? Oh, Lily, Lily, come away with me. I can give you the one thing you haven't got. Love? I have that too. Oh, you hate him. My husband, yes. What? Are you surprised that I have a lover? That's not true. Oh, isn't it? There's his house. I don't believe it. Oh, don't you? It doesn't matter. I'm going to him now. Lily, Lily, why are you pretending? You're lying. You're lying. You have no lover except me. It's me that you love. Me. You? Love you? Anything. Anybody but you. You'll see if I'm lying. You'll see. Close those shutters.
can hardly believe it. You've come. You've come to me. You love me. Love? Yes. Love. That's what I've come for. Love. Lily, my darling, I've dreamed of this. I've hoped for it. in the lodge. What? There's a fire, my lord, in the lodge. Fire? Well, put it out. Why don't you? Taking me. I'm taking you out of here. Yes, out of here. You stay there. There's a train in about an hour. If you'll write me care of general delivery at the village, I'll send you your things. Not twelve. Ten. You keep this book six days? That's twelve? Five days I keep that book. You couldn't read a book in five days, Mrs. Watsbrod. Even in six. You must have skipped most of it. I pay you ten and no more. You will pay me the... Oh, very well, Mrs. Watsbrod. Give me the ten. We'll make it up next time. Ten is all I owe. Any news? Aren't you sick of asking me that? I've looked everywhere. Even been down to the village where she lived. Not a trace. How much more time are you going to waste on this business? I don't know where else to look. Have you tried the... You know. Don't pour me in public guns, Fleisch. It isn't nice. Oh, did you hear that? Marie wants to be nice. I am nice. Lily's the one who knows what's nice. Hey, Lily? Give me some more champagne. You're coming to my apartment later, Lily. No. But you promised. I've changed my mind. I said no. 
What's the matter with you? You go along laughing and singing like everybody else, and suddenly you freeze up like this, and for no reason. Balmy. Oh, come, oh, come, Lily. <laughs> don't tell me men are human, are they, Lily? <laughs> They're the only animals that have money and buy champagne. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, sir. I beg your pardon, sir. Excuse me. I'll be back. Yes? Lily, where have you been? I've looked everywhere for you. Now you've found me. So what? I want you to come with me. Where? Oh, anywhere, anywhere out of here. I must talk to you. We have nothing to say to each other. Besides, I have an engagement. Oh, forget your engagement and come with me. Have you got a cigarette? What's your name? Lily. Well, now, Lily, don't irritate me with silly prejudices. I see you as an artist. You must believe that, Lily. I mean, well, I mean, 
You must believe that. Yes, I think I believe that. She's still the same. She's a fool. What is she waiting for? What is she listening for? What a fool I was. Remember how ashamed I was to take my clothes off? I remember. A silly country girl. Always chattering about love. No wonder you got tired of me. I never got tired of you. I've always wanted to have you back. Well, I'm back. For tonight. Minnie, Minnie, please, please. One makes mistakes, one does things. Heaven knows why. I, I was wrong. But Lily, need I suffer forever for one mistake? I want you back. I want you back as we used to be. As we used to be? <laughs> That's funny. There was a young girl once who came up those stairs, who loved you with all her heart, all her soul. But she has nothing to do with me. There she is. The Song of Songs. Don't you remember? I sleep, but my heart waketh. It is the voice of my beloved. No. I sought him whom my soul loved. I sought him, but I found him not. I called him, but he gave me no answer. The watchman that went about the city found me. They smote me, and they wounded me. The keepers of the walls took away my veil from me. They took away my veil from me. Lily, 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 I've hurt you and I've been punished. Oh, can't you forgive me? I've never stopped loving you. And then you love somebody who's dead. I'm dead. Do you hear? Dead! I'm dead! What right is she to live? What right is she to live? Let it go. We'll begin again. Do you remember long ago when we climbed the hill into the sky? Well, we'll climb again now and find the sky, perhaps.